Here's version 2 of the LEGO Airsoft turret. Over here we've got the second design for the pneumatic control system. Now what the system was designed to do was control the four pneumatic cylinders right here to move up and down using a single motor. Now I have four pneumatic pumps and a pneumatic switch. So the single motor had to control the pneumatic pump and switches to control airflow and pump the air simultaneously. Now the only change I've made in this design compared to the last one was replacing the chain link with two gears over there. And I did this because the chain link could not support the tension in it and it kept on snapping. So I'm going to describe to you the design this actually uses to accomplish pumping air while simultaneously controlling the pneumatic switch using a single motor. Now other designs have used a clutch gear to achieve this but I actually came up with my own design which I'm not sure has been invented before so I like to call it my own design and what it is is it's the pneumatic switch which rests on two springs and this allows it to rock back and forth and above the pneumatic switch is actually a gear with little notches on it that can grab the pneumatic switch and carry it over to the other side while continue turning while it doesn't jam. So the springs actually prevent the gear from jamming against the edge of the switch. So I'll show you it spinning right now. That's one direction. I'm going to reverse the direction. So you can see the switch right now is to the left, right there. And if I go the other direction, I'll do it slowly. It grabs the switch. There's the second stage. I press it again. It switches it over. And then it continues to spin without it jamming. And this actually controls the airflow out of these two nodes into these two tubes, which go to these four cylinders to control the airsoft gun to move up and down. Now I'm going to hook up the tubes and I'll show you it working. Alright, now that they're hooked up, let me show you it at work. So here's both directions. And over here, you can see the gun moving down and moving up. And right now it's pumping air into the bottom of these two cylinders and into the top of these two cylinders. If I reverse the direction, it's doing the direct opposite. Now it still moves extremely slow, but this is only because the airflow through the cylinders has to go through a really small valve. Now I saw online ways to modify these cylinders and actually use a drill to make the intake valves on the cylinders wider. And this will hopefully make it move up and down at the speed I want it to. And that's basically it.